Outsides Fitness team and today we're going to walk you through an eight move sequence on the foam roller designed to increase mobility and relieve sore muscles. Uh, this sequence is coming to us courtesy of Alex Walkinshaw, a fitness instructor based here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. This first move is going to elongate your spine and open your chest. Lay on your foam roller and make sure everything from your head to your pelvis is completely supported. Let your arms rest beside your body, your palms can be up or down, and allow your entire body to relax. Gently rock from right to left, and then stretch your neck by slowly turning your head side to side. This next move is going to target your shoulders and upper back. Keeping your foam roller between your third and fourth lowest ribs, take a deep breath and with your chest open, extend your back over the foam roller in a gentle arch. Do this movement a few times in sync with your breath. Return to the starting position and bring your elbows in. Press into your feet to lift your hips a few inches off the ground and keeping your spine straight, roll up to the tips of your shoulder blades and back down to where you started. Do this five to ten times. From here, you can lean onto one side of your body and roll five to ten times with the opposite shoulder blade lifted. You can straighten out your bottom arm or keep your palm behind your head. This next move is going to relieve tightness in the IT band and the glutes. Start by sitting upright on your foam roller and then lean both of your knees to one side so that your opposite hip is lifted. Draw three to four small circles on the roller, moving both clockwise and counterclockwise. From here, roll forward and back along the side of your glutes five to ten times. Straighten your bottom leg and cross your top leg over it with the top foot flat on the ground. You're going to roll the entire length of your upper leg from the outside of your hip to just above your knee. Repeat this five to ten times. You can also pause at the middle of your outer leg and roll your leg side to side. This next move is going to open the hips and work out tight quads. You lay the front of your hips on your roller with your feet about a foot apart and with your knees gently on the ground. You're going to press your left palm into the ground and roll into your right side, stacking your hips. From here, roll forward and back between 5 and 10 times. Repeat on the opposite side. To work into your quadriceps, move the foam roller to just above your knees. Rest on your forearms, keeping your knees lifted, your core engaged, and your hips a bit higher than your shoulders. Roll your quadriceps 5 to 10 times, either working your entire upper leg in one roll or breaking it into smaller sections and gradually moving upward. To intensify this, you can bend your knees, bringing your lower legs and feet towards the ceiling. The next move is going to massage your hamstrings and your calves. You're going to start by sitting upright on the foam roller with the foam roller right where your glutes connect to your upper legs. You're going to roll the entire length of your hamstrings five to ten times. You can cross one leg over the other to intensify this, rolling one hamstring at a time. To work into your calf muscles, lower your hips to the ground behind the foam roller. Place the roller underneath the widest part of your calf and cross your opposite leg over it. Bend and straighten your leg five to ten times. Explore turning your toes to the left and right to work into different parts of your muscle. This next move is going to release your lower back. Lie on the ground with your feet flat on the floor and then bring the foam roller underneath your pelvis. You're going to take a couple deep breaths and then pull your knees into your chest and roll them in circles clockwise and counterclockwise. From here, you're going to bend one knee and bring it into your shoulder, and then extend the other leg straight in front of you. Interlace your palms on your shin below the knee and hug that knee towards the shoulder, but avoid compressing the right side of the belly and the ribs. Rotate your foot and ankle clockwise and counterclockwise a few times. Take five to ten deep breaths here, then repeat on your other side. This next move is going to increase mobility in the groin and upper thighs. You're going to lay on your belly with the foam roller to your side, parallel to your torso, and bring one leg over the foam roller with your knee bent at a 90 degree angle and your calf and foot resting on the opposite side of the roller. Let your leg relax into the roller, square your upper body and hips forward, take a breath, and exhale to roll onto your side and draw the roller back to you. Repeat this five to ten times before moving to the other side. The last move is going to release tension in the neck. Place your foam roller about three inches from the base of your skull and then nod your head up and down and side to side. Thanks for watching Moves with Outside Magazine. We'll be releasing two videos a month, so stay tuned, and if you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comments.